Is Tyson Fury an actual heavyweight champion? What is the lineal status and is it a real world championship? A list of lineal boxing world champions is maintained by the historical research website Cyber Boxing Zone or CBZ for short. After input from Tracy Callis of the International Boxing Research Organization that was founded in 1982 so that there could be an accurate history of boxing and could compile complete and accurate boxing records. The list of lineal champions was first released in 1994, while retrospective records date back to the introduction of the Marquess of Queensbury rules in 1885. The lineal status promotes the concept of a single champion per weight class, known as the Transnational Boxing Ranking Board. John L. Sullivan was the first lineal heavyweight champion. Lennox Lewis retired as lineal champion in February 2004. Then in 2009, Vladimir Klitschko assumed the lineal status after defeating Ruslan Chagiev. While defending his IBF, WBO and IBO heavyweight titles and also claiming the Ring Magazine title in the process, which was vacant at the time. Then obviously Tyson Fury beat Vladimir Klitschko to claim the lineal status. But the lineal status retired with Lennox Lewis, right? Well, if that were the case, then it would have ended with Rocky Marciano after he retired as lineal champion. So, Tyson Fury is listed as the 44th lineal champion of the world. So effectively, yes, he is a legitimate world champion by the lineal status. And if you look down the list of lineal champions, Tyson Fury is the only heavyweight from this era on there. His name, alongside other lineal champions in history, like Floyd Patterson, Muhammad Ali and Joe Lewis, the latter also being a fighter who retired as lineal champion. So who would assume the lineal status if Tyson Fury were to retire tomorrow? I guess the lineal status would then be assumed by Andy Ruiz after he defeated Anthony Joshua. It is worth noting that Tyson Fury is only the second British lineal champion, and while it is not a physical title belt, it is way more when you consider the lineal champion's name does go down in history on a list that includes Muhammad Ali, Rocky Marciano, and Joe Lewis, Joe Frazier, and Lennox Lewis. Not a bad company to be in, and until he is beaten, he is still the lineal champion. If there were to be another lineal champion, if it wasn't Tyson Fury, as I said, if he were to retire tomorrow, I'd say the next lineal champion would be Andy Ruiz, especially after his win over Anthony Joshua. If Anthony Joshua had beat Andy Ruiz, I think Anthony Joshua would have been the lineal champion after Tyson Fury. So guys, what are your thoughts on this? Do you believe that Tyson Fury is an actual world heavyweight champion now? Or do you still believe it is not a physical title, so it does not count? Personally, I have always thought it's not about the belt. It's not about whether it's the IBF, WBO, WBA or WBC or even IBO. It's who you win the belts off of. That is what is important. That is what goes down in history. But guys, drop your thoughts in the comments below. Click the thumbs up and subscribe if you are new. Thanks guys.